Improbable Bar, part of the Improbable Candy Line. Tell your parents it's sugar-free and will airdrop to your door on Halloween. Recommended by four out of five dentists. Now, what do you make of that, Molly? I know you're not implying anything about my sweet tooth. Why is it always four out of five dentists? Never three out of five, or unanimous. Who's the fifth dentist? Debate is completely commonplace in the scientific community, Scalder. That's how scientific theories are proven. I mean, maybe this fifth dentist follows a different school of thought. Maybe she had some personal experience in her background that gives her a unique perspective on dental medicine. Or maybe she's a witch. Hmm. I would like to welcome you all to this emergency meeting of the Orthodontic Restoration and Anti-Cavity League. We have a new product. It is a sugar substitute that is not only highly addictive, but also nearly undetectable. So it will not be on any of those Fakakta nutrition labels. It is so fast acting that mommies and daddies by November 1st will be calling in to get little Greg and little Gracie all sorts of appointments for their cavities. <laughs> <laughs> they are calling it improbable candy. And it will be airdropped on Halloween, right as trick-or-treaters are starting. So this is the candy they will be getting. We get them hooked, and then we give them the drills. All we need then is a vote, all in favor. Kevin, as you know, Oral's mission is to please all opposed. Marketing will not like this. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Scalder? Do you have a way of reaching the public with this? I have my sources. Good, because we're up against a clock. Have you heard of the new candy being released on Halloween? Improbable bar? We'll give you tartar. A lot of it. Are you the fifth dent? I'm part of an organization that represents certain interests. The Orthodontic Restoration and Anti-Cavity League, who has been pumping money into research into alternative sugars, which are highly habit-forming. Also, they can fatten their pockets with millions of dollars, millions of filled cavities the day after Halloween. What's worse is the government has known about this for years, but even they have succumbed to the hands of oral. The release on Halloween has to be stopped. If you can somehow distribute this information that I just gave you, you know, on a worldwide scale, possibly through an interconnected network of computers or something of that nature, we can possibly blow this thing wide open. Oh, I can blow oral wide open. One last thing. How often do you floss? Really? Listen, everybody. Oral is not what it seems. We're just pawns in this cavity filling game they're playing. Oral has been testing the addictive qualities of improbable candy on live human subjects. They're not to be trusted and they must be resisted. Oh God, they're coming. Molly, I found the fifth dentist. Meet me in my office tomorrow morning. You're gonna wanna see this. Did you find out that your dentist witch was a fake? No, he's real. Anyway, this will explain everything. Molly! What, what happened, are you okay? I think Oral is on to me. Scolder, that doesn't make any sense. This contained hard evidence of a dentist conspiracy that runs so deep the government is involved. And now it's been destroyed. You wanna know who did this? Big Dentist. And if they've been lying to us about this, what else have they been lying to us about? Honestly, you need to come up with something more sinister than dentists if you wanna drum up conspiracy theories around Halloween. I know you hate going to the dentist, but they give you those little gift bags of oral hygiene products after every visit. Can you think of a more hospitable doctor? What you have here is poor desk management, covering up the ramblings of someone who's probably mentally unstable. And if they fooled you, maybe you should take some time off today. 
Go for a swim or something. Yeah. Maybe. Trick or treat. Mm. You had me worried earlier. I wanted to make sure you were okay. I brought wine. Glasses are in there. Looks like you went for trick. But Molly, why? We've never been closer to the truth. You want truth, Scolder? Dental school is expensive. Besides, four out of five dentists can't be wrong. <gasps> Good evening, Oral, and what a happy Halloween this is. As we speak, the airdrop has been completed, and children are taking their first improbable bites, leading them one step closer on the path to Cavity Town. I must mention the tragic passing of our once dissenting dentist, Dr. Kevin Grimp, who unfortunately died in a Novocaine accident. Improbable candy is sugar! It's sugar! He went down so that oral may flourish. With that being said, good news. We would like to welcome our newest member, Dr. Lana Mully our fifth and unanimous recommending dentist ensure a thriving oral culture going forward. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Polly, and I would like to lead us in a toast to oral. To oral. To oral. To oral. To oral. <laughs>